Welcome everybody to another episode of the Lunch Table Podcast. And in this video, I'm going to give you my review for Peacock or Peacock. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts to say about it because I'm not really a Peacock fan, but I will admit Peacock's pretty cool and I do appreciate the content that they got on the platform. So let's get into it. Peacock has some categories, movies, TV shows, sports, WWE, holidays, and then you, of course you got your stuff that you want to add in channels. That's just the main UI. Um, what I like about Peacock is during the pandemic, I remember they tried to do the same thing that Max did and I think they succeeded because it seemed like they have a lot more movies than Max did uh, that were in theaters but they also put it in the same time on their platform and I do appreciate that it was like they split it in the middle I think one of the first movies they had was correct me if I'm wrong the movie Firestarter which was Stephen King's novel and then they did like a remake of the movie in a way that movie was ass it was with Zac Efron I wish we reviewed it but we didn't but I'm kind of glad we did because that movie we didn't because that movie was was pretty dog shit um you know but they're still keeping that up they're still having like streaming on Peacock, but at the same time too, it's also in the theaters and they add these movies really fast. So they have, uh, we did a review for the Exodus Believer. They got the Exodus Believer right here. Five Nights at Freddy's. That was in the theaters at the same time too. You could stream it on Peacock. I, that's really cool. The fact they did that. You have options now and I do, I would always choose to watch something in streaming. It's way more easier and you could just get done the reviews faster. Uh, they have strays. They have like a whole slew of things. They have a lot of shows. I'm not really into the shows, but I do one. The strength from Peacock is the movie thing that they're doing. Their shows, on the other hand, I'm not really attracted to it. Uh, you know, they have the Continental. That was a great show. I remember they had another show. It was something with Dr. Death or something like that, where it was like this guy who does surgeries and he's actually killing people and whatnot. That that was pretty cool to see. I actually like that show. Uh, they have a, a huge catalog of movies too, which is great. They do have a lot of collections, like the John Wick collection, different franchises. And again, their originals are nice, like Twisted Metal. We did a review on that. The Twisted Metal is great. They just announced season two and the Game Awards. Uh, you know, they do cool stuff too, like Jurassic World. Dominion, they have an extended version. That movie's ass, but at least they have an extended version, which is interesting to see. So they they have a lot of options for people, which I do appreciate. I think options as a consumer, having options is really great. And of course, they have their NBC News. They have a whole plethora of news. NBC, NBC News, MSNBC. Pff, they have Bravo, Hallmark. They got a lot of stuff here. And they have the live TV thing too. So all in all, I think Peacock is pretty underrated. I think a lot of the other platforms are overrated and there's not a lot of optionality. I mean, Prime, you know, has a lot of options and Netflix has a lot of options just because they have a lot of dog shit, but they also have a lot of hidden gems. Hulu is like whatever that's mixing in with Disney Plus. So Disney Plus, take it for what you will. You can check out my review for that. Uh, but at least Peacock, Peacock's well-rounded and Peacock does have a lot of options. And, and who doesn't want more options in their streaming services as well? It's... At a steep price, I believe we're paying, I believe we're paying like $14 or something like that, but you could go with a higher tier. So it's kind of what you would expect. A lot of these streaming platforms are like that, um, but I, I think it is worth it. But I, I'm going to be real with you. I don't use Peacock like that. I don't use Peacock like crazy. But when they do have a movie that I'm in, like the Exodus Believer, I don't think came out on physical media. So the fact that I could, which that movie's ass too, <laughs> but the fact that I can have the option to watch it here so soon is a plus in my eyes. And same thing with Five Nights at Freddy or Strays. The fact that it's just there so soon is a plus. I don't know why they didn't call it Peacock Plus, but I'll be really weird. NBC Plus. I bet with you, they were trying to think of an idea, like thinking of, of a name and they were going to call it NBC Plus at one point. Watch. Watch that come. You'll see that's going to be revealed one day. But yeah, I, I think it's a good platform. Uh, they got a lot of shit shows and I got a lot of shit movies but it's mixed in with the good too and a lot of their own original documentaries like the Barney documentary and stuff like that I think it's pretty good I, you know Poker Face I think has like 100% of Rotten Tomatoes or something like that the last time I checked so you know again every not every show can be excellent 
Um, Apple TV, I think they have a lot of great shows, but they do have a lot of shit shows there too. So not every streaming service is going to have uh, everything with just 100% Rotten Tomatoes scores, but I think you're going to find something that you know will pass the time really well, or you're going to find something that has value and you'll watch it. And I think Peacock is filled with that. So my rating for Peacock will be an 8 out of 10. That is my review for Peacock. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like this video. It'll greatly help out your boy. We have a lot of content coming your way, as I always say. I have a couple or more reviews coming your way as well. This week is jam-packed, so stick with me. I love you guys so much. I hope everything's good with you guys. I hope you guys came off your holidays and enjoyed your holidays. So as always, see you guys. Mm -hmm.